Tonight marked the end of an era for a major staple in Denver's Bonnie Bray neighborhood. After nearly nine decades in business, the Bonnie Bray Tavern closed its doors for the final time just about an hour ago. Connor McHugh is live outside the restaurant tonight, and Connor is certainly a sad night for the family business as well as its legions of fans. Yeah, Kelly, certainly an emotional night for many staff members and many more of those longtime customers who've been coming here for a long time and came tonight to soak it all in for one final time. Well, this isn't the ending the owners here always envisioned. They say they're proud of the legacy their family leaves behind. Denver's changed a lot, but Bonnie Bray's always kept the constant. At Bonnie Bray Tavern, the booths were full and oven blazing, but Saturday was no ordinary night. It's almost like it's not real to me yet. After 88 years, this marks the restaurant's final night in the business, a time Michael Dyer hoped would never come. I can't say it's always been fun or easy, but I'm proud of the fact that we were able to continue my grandparents' legacy. That legacy began in 1934 with Dyer's grandparents, Carl and Sue. Now two generations of Dyer's later, it's still here, revered for its pizza as much as family atmosphere. We just kept it true to what my grandfather's vision was. That's what makes closing so hard for Michael and his family. The result of soaring property taxes and declining business made even worse by the pandemic. It wasn't something we wanted to do, but just out of necessity we had to do it. And I grieve every day about it. For the Mendenhalls, the tavern has been a mainstay across five generations. On Saturday, three of them came to say goodbye. If you had a good day, you went to come here and celebrate. And if you had a bad day, you sat in the corner booths and you felt so much better when you left. Memories she must now cherish as a neighborhood pillar goes away for good. Everything changes, but it's, it's sad to me. It's very sad. The company that bought the building will take over at the end of July. According to Business Den, they plan to build an apartment complex. Live in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.